Hello, my name is Tommy Wood and my internship project was a time to nitrogen application on Pennycrest. The purpose of this study was to determine the effect that fall and spring timings of nitrogen applications had on Pennycrest seed yield and oil content. The study contributes to Pennycrest commercialization as it's important to determine when nitrogen should be applied in order to maximize desirable plant traits while minimizing nitrogen runoff. Going into the field methodology of the experiment, two varieties were selected. TT8-T is a gene-edited golden pennycrest line with a background in ARV1 with very high oil content and uniform germination. ARV2032 is a wild-type parent line with high oil for a wild-type and very large seed. There were nine treatments split up between spring and fall timings and a control. The fall application consisted of 50 pounds of nitrogen incorporated prior to planting, and spring applications consisted of 50 pounds of nitrogen broadcasted prior to a rain event at four different stages of plant development. Plots were replicated four times in a randomized split block design. After harvesting the seed, it was cleaned using three different methods. After the seed was cleaned, it was first sent through a Marvin seed analyzer, then through NMR, and finally through gas chromatography. The results for the total seed yield for TTA were inconclusive due to the high variability across replications of treatments caused by wild type pennycrest contamination. However, there appears to be a trend of increased seed yield for treatments with 50 pounds of nitrogen in the fall and an additional 50 pounds of nitrogen in the spring. For all future graphs, the control will be in gray, the spring only application will be in blue, the fall only application will be in orange and the treatments with both fall and spring applications will be in green. The effect, the effect of the timing of nitrogen application on the oil content was inconclusive. However, there appears to be a trend of nitrogen applications overall decreasing the percent of oil in the seed. The results for oil yield was also inconclusive, and much like seed yield, there appears to be a trend of increasing total oil yield for treatments that include both fall and spring applications. The results for seed yield for ARV2032 showed several treatments which were significantly different to the control. Columns with different letters are significantly different to each other at a 95% confidence interval. None of the spring-only applications were significantly different to the control. The fall-only application showed a significant increase in seed yield as compared to the control. And all of the 50-50 treatments, with the exception of the 50-50 bolting treatment, were significantly different to the control. The results for total oil content and total oil yield for ARV2032 showed that the fall-only application and the 50-50 treatments were significantly different to the control with the exception of the 50-50 bolting treatment. One interesting discovery made by this study is that golden pennycress and wild type pennycress appear to react differently to nitrogen applications. Firstly are the trends for the average oil content for both varieties. Compared to the control, any nitrogen application appears to have a negative effect on TTH oil content while R of 2032 shows that there is a positive effect on oil content with any nitrogen treatment. Looking at the trends for seed yield, the area shaded blue on the average yield graph are the spring timings. The spring timings for R of 2032 showed an increase in seed yield from the dormancy application to the first flower application, while TT8 appears to have a slight decrease in seed yield over the same applications. Aside from yield and oil content, I took several other measurements. However, none of these were significantly different. To conclude, due to the high variability across replications of treatments, additional research is required to reach a definitive conclusion on the effect of timing of nitrogen applications on golden pennycress. However, it appears that golden pennycress reacts differently to nitrogen applications than wild type pennycress. On the other hand, the results for ARV2032 show that a single application of 50 pounds of nitrogen applied in the fall at planting is an effective way to increase seed yield without applying excess nitrogen. Finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Pippin and Tad Wesley for mentoring me through the project. 
as well as Mary Fippen for helping me run my stats, Dr. Mary Brackey for organizing our internship meetings and keeping us all informed, and finally, my fellow intern, Ross Sousa, for helping me harvest my plots.